Well, meantime, even with losses today, big tech has been on a tear of late. Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, Microsoft, and Apple all handily beating the broader market over the past month. But the chart master warns that not every stock in this group will keep up their run. So let's bring in Carter Worth of Worth Charting. What do you see here, Carter? Right. So the note to clients was a pairs trade. We have a lot of long short uh, institutions. And so this was simply looking at the four largest constituents in the QQQ. We know the names. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon. But what we did, we looked at each as baskets, the total market cap of Apple and Microsoft, now five trillion, versus Amazon and Google at two and a half. So it's now double. And if you look at that relationship, it's about as wide as it's ever been. So the premise of the note was that you want to, as a basket, fade Apple and Microsoft and be long Google um, and uh, Amazon. We have some charts. So here's the first one. This is a, a comparative chart, and you can see two lines. It's very straightforward. The first, the leader, is a two-stock weighted basket, equal weighted, of Apple and Microsoft. And the laggard is Amazon and Google. Now, if you put the next chart, you'll see that the QQQ is right in the middle. Meaning, you're looking, there's autocorrelation here, but you're looking at the two largest constituents plotted together versus the second two largest, and then the index. Now, the way to really do it is to hold the QQQ as a constant. And if you do that, you see how bifurcated, how, how much of a spread you have. And the premise uh, is that you want to be long the laggards, here at this point, Amazon and Google, and fading the leaders, Apple and Microsoft. 